why Mandy Moore's emotional This Is Us eulogy was even tougher to film than you think, if Tuesday night's installment of This Is Us was difficult to watch, just imagine how tough it was for the cast to film it, not only for obvious reasons, but also due to one element that didn't come across on screen. Mandy Moore, whose character delivered a simultaneously heartfelt and humorous eulogy for her late husband underneath his favorite tree, had to grapple not only with the immense emotional weight of the material, but with a seriously distracting nearby ruckus. The location we are shooting at was so loud, Moore said with a laugh during a phone interview with VF Wednesday morning. There was so much traffic, and we were right by an airport, and so there were planes constantly landing. Understandably, it took a bit of work for Moore to get out of her head into the monologue amid so many distractions. But she knew all too well how important this moment was, as she put it, Rebecca's speech, delivered for an audience of just her and Jack's three children, was a deliberate move on her part. To really honor their father, it was her own way for just the four of them to really eulogize him. She wanted to honor that, and, with a little helpful sound editing, she did, delivering the emotional cornerstone of a crucial episode as the series moves forward from the crushing death of its patriarch. Rebecca starts her eulogy by revealing something she and Jack had never told their children, Did you know that when your father and I first got married, I wasn't sure that I ever wanted to have kids? I mean, I figured I would eventually, but... She trails off before jumping to a topic that doesn't seem relevant, at first. He was the worst at movies. Wasn't he? He was just the worst. I mean, as soon as a movie started, he would just figure out who would end up with who or who murdered who. Somehow he was always, always right. It was like he could see things before they happen. You know? I mean, he could see you three before you happened. Thank God he did. To more, this scene was a moment of tremendous strength for Rebecca, a grieving newly single parent to three kids who saw their father as a superhero. She reassures her sons that neither one of them needs to become the new man of the house, and insists to Kate that it's not her fault Jack decided to go back into the house for the family dog, a decision that quite possibly sealed his fate. I thought it was so eloquent, Moore said, before crediting Rebecca's sit-down with the doctor who delivered her children with fortifying her spirit. Their conversation, she said really showed her that she could be the type of parent that Jack was, and that she needed to be for these kids. The words Rebecca says to Jack's spirit under the tree, we're going to be okay became the mantra that helped her focus while filming. As fans know, though Jack's death has finally been revealed, Moore's co-star Milo Ventimiglia is not going anywhere, there's plenty of Jack's story left to be told through flashbacks. Plus, Moore notes. I don't know if anything's ever really behind us or in the rearview mirror with this show, because we're consistently jumping around in time and there's lots of stuff that we shoot that I have a feeling, when it doesn't make it an episode, will be used further down the road in some other way. She can confirm that we're pretty much done with this particularly dark moment, but makes no promises that it won't be examined again in the future. One overarching theme of the past few episodes of This Is Us has been Rebecca's quiet strength a change of pace from past plot lines in which the Pearson kids seemed to underappreciate and undervalue their mother. Increasingly, it seems they're coming to realize just how much pain she shouldered for them, which has been a welcome development for more. I'm not a mother, but just speaking from my own experience and observations, I feel like moms often are sort of relegated to that, Moore said. Not all the time, and that is sweeping generalization but I feel like moms often are underestimated. Because they do carry, in a lot of cases, so much of the heavy load in life. And I am glad that like the tide has sort of shifted in this season. And while Jack might have been a superhero on the surface, Rebecca is very much his equal. They were such a duo and a unit, Moore said, and I love that she's sort of getting her due now. Moore also wasn't caught off guard by the other major development in Sunday's post-Super Bowl episode. The flash-forward starring an aged-up Sterling K. Brown and the adult version of his daughter Tess. As she notes, This Is Us creator Dan Fogelman has been mulling the idea of making such a move for a while, though in the interest of full disclosure, 
Moore said she's not sure how much of the show will be dedicated to flash forwards. To Moore, that moment was more an example of where the show could go than a sign of precisely where it will go right now. On a personal note, she also found the move delightful for one specific reason, for me, it's just nice that other cast members get to experience what I have for the last two years, more equipped. Because it's pretty torturous going through all that, old age, hair and makeup. The actress's evil side, she adds, was cackling at the thought. Jokes aside, the flash forwards do open up at least one other fascinating, if tragic, possibility. Will we eventually watch the story of Rebecca's death unfold as well? Moore hopes so. To be able to see the entire line of this woman's life, I mean, as an actor, it doesn't get any better than that. I feel like it's a really fitting place to go, in terms of story and what the show truly is all about, she says. But thankfully for fans who just can't take much more heartbreak, that moment, if it comes at all, will be postponed into the distant future of This Is Us. Probably. Use of this site constitutes acceptance of our user agreement and privacy policy.